Across the country, school is back in session. Also across the country, conservative provincial governments are making cuts to education. In Ontario alone, Doug Ford's cuts are forcing school boards to lay off hundreds of staff, threatening the lives of countless classroom gerbils. <laughs> Here with her take on the issue is Beaverton correspondent and education enthusiast, Lisa Gilroy. <laughs> so it's true. On the first day of school this year, students probably noticed that the old schoolhouse was missing out on some of the fancier things in life, like teachers, pencils, and space to sit down and also to move and stand. Well, that doesn't sound great, Lisa. Yes, Miguel. Many across the country are, like you, boohooing, but I believe we should be woohooing. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. This is all for the children's own good. For too long, they've been coddled with frills like vaccination programs, outside time, and math. So, what do you suggest? Well, we need to prepare kids for the world of tomorrow. If we keep spoiling them with trinkets like new books, they're gonna get their soft little asses kicked in the water wars. But what about in-school vaccine programs? Shouldn't we want our children to be healthy so that their soft little asses can win the water wars? Well, I say let nature decide which kids are strong enough and cool enough to remain alive. I mean, not to be rude, but if the only thing stopping you from getting rubella or polio is a vaccine, then you're weak. <laughs> okay, so in the world of tomorrow, strong kids are a priority. But what about smart kids or hot kids? Hot kids will always thrive, Emma. <laughs> but with budget cuts that lead to curriculum cuts, smart kids will become obsolete. So long, arts and music, and hello, gym and second gym. I learned jumping in gym. Okay. <laughs> and while we're at it, replace home economics with the more real-world applicable home trickle-down economics. Okay, I'm almost afraid to ask, but what is that? That's where kids in private schools learn home economics while poor kids watch through a window. Oh, no. no! No! Sympathy is weakness. <laughs> Plus, if kids don't like it, they're free to skip the education system altogether. Alberta just lowered the minimum wage for workers under 18, so who knows? If we keep this up, maybe we'll resurrect our once booming chimney sweep economy. As Oliver Twist once said, and I quote, Hey, sir, I don't want any more, no, sir, I'm full. Oliver Twist wasn't a chimney sweep, and he was famously not full. Mm. Lisa. Do you hear that when you're talking? What a bummer you are when you're educated? <laughs> well, thankfully, we won't have to deal with that kind of stuff much longer. I am obligated to thank you for coming on here, but I did not like what you had to say. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I stopped listening after I'm obligated to thank you. So. Okay, you're welcome. That's fair. Lisa Gilroy, everybody. Lisa Gilroy. Wow. Get into it. The Beaverton. Only on CTV.